So here we are at uh, John O'Groats, so there's the uh, famous building where you used to get your stamp, I don't know what, where you get stamping mod in bother. Uh, seems a boy scout is now. Um, yeah, here's our ferry on our way to uh, the Orkneys, which are just out there. I don't know why there's a bit of mist on my lens. Or whatever. But nice, sort of nice kind of money. It's, uh, I'll put you into the sun and a bit of reflection off the sea, maybe. And there you go. Kind of a half misty, sort of a Scottish kind of a morning, isn't it? There, uh, there's just a little pan round, and we'll get some more views later. Well, one last uh, point I should mention. I don't think you see, there's just a few people stood by the uh, totem pole up there, and uh, just having the pictures taken just for the sake of doing it. I just, it, what a contrast from uh, Land's End, where there was millions of cyclists and walkers and everybody doing everything. Uh, all there, taking it, getting the pictures taken and uh, it was hard to even get near the pole. Um, you had to get up very, very early to actually get your photograph taken in uh, Land's End. And yet, at this end, what happened to them all? Did they pack in? The uh, hotel there at uh, John O'Groats, where it used to be a hotel, it's no longer a hotel now. Uh, that's where you used to get your bits of paper signed. Uh, the boat's swinging around, right? you won't hear a lot. Uh, but that, uh, what was a hotel is now just simply uh, being changed into holiday homes, uh, holiday lets, and that's it. So, the hotel's no longer a hotel. It may well be a nice view towards the mainland if the sun uh, uh, kind of the right angle. Uh, that's a uh, good part of the mainland uh, on our way to Orkney. I'm just uh, getting you this little picture of uh, this church. I think it's going to be pretty typical, really, of uh, uh, Orkney, which we're on at the moment. We've just did, uh, well, we're down the road there, we just uh, de embarked, as they say. Have you noticed that now? There is no windows in the church, um, and also the spire's gone, everything's gone. There's a little bell tower on the end there, but that's basically all that uh, uh, there is. Uh, the uh, door is to the uh, facing south. Uh, there is a door at this end, very small door, but no windows. I just like it was a. Obviously, there's no trees here, so you can imagine the winds are going to be horrendously strong. But I just thought it was just a nice little view of a church, and just sort of. Uh, it does come with its own uh, safety warning, it tells you not to go too close to it. <laughs> I don't know whether bits are going to get blown off, it looked pretty intact to me. Uh, a lot of buildings that I came past just recently, they are. They are uh, um, Abandoned, we can say. Now then, just uh, this morning, give you a little view here of. Uh, how to wait for the cars in a minute. I will do my heading. Right, views of Orkney. So we landed uh, yesterday in the right in the south right on the south uh, little tiny peninsula down there and came up the first half and I'm going to call it called Ronsay but uh, I may be corrected um, East Ronsay anyway never mind uh, and then we go uh, he's kind of jumped from island to island on causeways uh, some of these causeways are man made uh, yeah. In order, basically, to uh, make what you're looking at now. This is Scapa Flow. And yesterday, I was desperately trying to uh, remember the name of the German fleet that was uh, um, 
Well, yeah, you got to call it captured and uh, brought here uh, when uh, uh, peace was made. Basically, we beat them. <coughs> right. So, we brought the uh, fleet here uh, and uh, actually, you can see a wreck down there. Just poking out the water. Right, okay. Um, yeah, we brought them here. Uh, Basically, to decide what to do with it. Grand Fleet. Uh, it's a bit windy up here. We didn't have the best. We would, yeah, we did. We were fine. Uh, a lot of rain. This weird, heavy mist. Really heavy mist. Mizzle, I suppose you call it. Overnight. I'll try and show you when we go around the next corner to the next uh, little island, helping along. Uh, we'll show you one of what they call the bars. Still up uh, fairly high, but uh, you get the picture now. Look, uh, the mist has risen, and uh, you get a look at the uh, the little islands that all make up. Uh, eventually, we go around the corner uh, in the direction of the road over there, which will take us to a village there. can see but I'm just sort of uh, in there. If you look in the uh, in the background among the mist you might just be able to make out uh, another island there uh, just across hopefully you can see that and uh, then you see a little headland there So we're at the moment then, uh, on top of this summit, uh, heading roughly in that direction north, uh, just up to the left hand side of me, shortly we'll be Scapa Flow, uh, we'll talk about that, it was the home of the uh, the Grand Fleet, and it was also uh, uh, the uh, holding place for the uh, uh, oh, the Grand Fleet was uh, the British and uh, the German fleet in the First World War. Guess what? We've uh, got no uh, man to remember this. Right. Yeah, some very unusual uh, buildings I'm very sure. Most of the buildings on uh, Orkney are all uh, very, very small windows. And uh, obviously, the uh, windows, the, 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 the winds and everything around here would have. Yeah, I can see the reasoning behind it. And uh, church had no windows hardly, uh, just one door at the back, and uh, going south there was another door, but it didn't look like it. It was really very small, it didn't look like that entry. But this one's an unusual one, it's just in the middle of nowhere, it's right on top of the hill as you come up to it. Um, don't know, uh, very strange. Was it a school? 
put on it. So the kind of looks a little Victorianish on the top with the chimneys, but I don't think it is Victorian. Uh, it could well be something to do, uh, daft it seems, with either first or second world war. Because we've got to remember we are very close now to Scapin Flow, which we'll see shortly. Anyway, we'll leave you with that little thought. Somebody might come up with some answers.